friends, Linda, Black Bear Family Farms, and we have a windy, windy Idaho day. This is the stuff that, it's just scary. I don't like it at all. So let me show you. I'm sure you can hear it. The wind, this is what blew our greenhouse apart last year, but hey, we fortified before the winter, so it's doing fine. But oh my goodness, it is so windy birds are not liking it too much. Oh, these poor babies. But they're out here, wind and all. They just don't seem to care much. They, the, It's actually helping to dry out the ground, which is nice, because we have had so much melting snow that uh, it's been a mud bath out there. Now it's just a wind machine. Oh my goodness. Yeah, the snow hasn't been too bad. We've actually melted a lot. Um, there's still quite a bit on the ground. We haven't had that many storms, but uh, it has been a very mild winter. We could get some snow with this round, with this storm, whatever it's blowing. But in Idaho, it doesn't necessarily mean a storm just because it's blowing. So let me show you around. We did a funny thing. We had to cover our quail cage with some netting. I don't know if you can see it. It's a black netting. That's because we had starlings coming in here and eating all their food and uh, pooping black nasty poop all over the place. So uh, we decided we better cover them up and uh, that way they can't get to their feed. So it's worked really well too. As you can see, we still have quite a bit of snow on the ground. But we have a lot of empty ground too. Well, it's good we took all our cardboard to the dump the other day because it just starts blowing and <laughs> you can see the poor flag. I'm glad it doesn't seem like it's going to blow away, but it is blowing crazy today. As you can see, all the snow is gone out in the front yard. We even have some. I don't know, we're starting to get some bulbs are starting to come up already. They might be shocked. We could get another route. The snow fell off the roof. But uh, overall, it's pretty melted on this side. But you can see there's a lot of snow still on the ground where it's been plowed. Even though we haven't had much snow in all weeks, I don't think. We have had a major issue though with a raccoon and um, we've had invited a friend who's a trapper and he's gonna try and help us. Thank goodness they haven't gotten into this pen, the American brass we have over here. But he's killed about 15 birds already this winter. We've seen him go through this culvert a few times but he also likes to live out by the barn in the back. So um, we're hoping our friend can help us and catch this guy, he's, he's a menace. Otherwise, I haven't posted a lot because there hasn't been a lot. We're just uh, working our way through winter. Trees are starting to get uh, some, getting yellow for spring. We're starting to get some sap moving one over here but um it's really too early for to, to think it's spring yet yeah it's look at this mud pit over here oh my goodness this is where those trucks turn around and it is bad over there otherwise we're just dealing with wind today for the next few hours possibly another day i hope not this i hate this wind it's just terrible. Oh look, the lilacs are starting to get buds on them. So, it's that time of year. It's a little early. It's still February. But we certainly could need to catch that raccoon. Skunks aren't too hard. They just, they, we're able to catch them. They, they go through holes in the fence or something and we can find that. But this coon, he literally, you can't even see. 
go around this side. We have a fence on top of a fence and he goes right over it like it's nothing. He just climbs right up and climbs right down. So, whew. What's amazing is with this wind, it's not terribly cold. It's actually in the low 40s. You would think it would be really bad wind chill and it is cold but it's not like below zero or anything more boxes blowing away I'm gonna bring them inside so how's the weather where you are post below let me know and we'll keep you posted